Have you been hearing a lot about a capsule wardrobe, but you don't want to have just 20 items in your closet? Well, let's talk about the five ways you can use a capsule wardrobe. We're going to do that now. So let's dive right in. Hello, fashionista. I'm Nancy Queen, and I'm here to help you build a closet full of clothes you love to wear. So you love getting dressed every single day. And today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, capsule wardrobes. However, a lot of people have messaged me and noted in comments that they just don't know where to start with a capsule wardrobe. They already have a closet full of clothes and they don't know where to begin or what to pare down. Well, I'm going to tell you about five different ways to use a capsule wardrobe that you may not have thought of, and it will help you reorganize your closet a little differently or think about your clothes a little differently so that you can categorize them a little better. The first way I want to talk to you about is the minimalist capsule wardrobe. That is what most people think of when they think of a capsule wardrobe. They think of like 33 or 37 pieces. That's all you wear. It's kind of your uniform. And that is like the traditional capsule wardrobe where you just have a few pieces that mix and match together. And that's really all you wear. That is one way to do a capsule wardrobe. You can learn more about my pieces that I did for spring in this video. You can also watch my video on a basic capsule wardrobe that I did from Talbot's in this video. Now, the second way I want to talk to you about a capsule wardrobe is you can organize your wardrobe by lifestyle. So think about your day. Do you go to work? Do you work from home? Are you a stay at home mom? Are you retired? What are some of the activities you do in the day? Do you go to yoga? Do you go for daily walks, walk your dog? Do you go on vacations? Do you like cruises? You can build capsule wardrobes just for that particular lifestyle. So I have two lifestyle capsule wardrobes in my life. The first one is my everyday capsule wardrobe, which you can see here. And the second is my workout capsule wardrobe, which is just a collection of all my workout shirts, jackets, and leggings that I can mix and match. They work together. I keep them separate from my regular capsule wardrobe so that I can go back to those at any time. But when I buy them, they're all meant to work together. I don't mix these two categories very often. So most of us just don't go to work and come home. We go to work and then maybe we change and do gardening or go for a walk or go bike riding. So you may need a little capsule wardrobe just for your work life and then your after work life activities. So think of it that way and put in the comments what lifestyle activities you do that would be a good capsule wardrobe for you. The third way of organizing a capsule wardrobe is by color palette. I've had a number of people message me saying, I like all brights or I'm really into blacks, but then I also have a very muted palette wardrobe too. And I just don't know what to do. Do I have to choose? No, you don't have to choose. You can actually create sections within your closet that are capsules of just those particular sections. In fact, I do have that to some degree in my wardrobe. So right now it is May and I really don't wear black this time of year. But in the winter time, I wear a lot of black. So this wardrobe that you're seeing right now is all bright colors. But when I go into the winter time, I integrate my blacks into the wardrobe. So I have a little bit darker color palette going into the winter time. And it's a great way if, you know, one day you like to wear really soft muted tones and the next day you like to wear brights or a lot of black and white to organize your closet in capsules so that it makes it a lot easier to shop your closet every day and easily pull those colors together by the shades and the tones that they are. The fourth way to think of a capsule wardrobe is to organize it seasonally. This is something I've mentioned before. I grew up on the East Coast. In the spring and summer, we would have one wardrobe and then in the fall and winter, we would have a totally different wardrobe. And I know a lot of you have messaged me where you're from and said that you do that as well. So you're kind of doing a capsule wardrobe already 
when you separate out your wardrobe by season. That is a capsule of clothing. It's another way to think about your wardrobe that, you know, if you are really into those autumn colors like oranges, yellows, browns for fall, put together a fall capsule wardrobe. And then when winter hits, you might like to wear winter whites and cool colors and a lot of blacks and grays. Put together a capsule wardrobe of those tones and then bring in your springtime colors, bring pastels and then into summer colors, uh, bright colors for summer, you can do that as well. That's just another way to think about your wardrobe and to divide it down so that it, you're not looking at an overwhelming amount of clothes every single day that you're choosing from. You're just going to limit yourself to your capsule of clothing for that season. And the fifth way you can think about capsule wardrobes is by doing a monthly capsule wardrobe. I know a lot of people who started out with capsule wardrobes have thought about it this way because it's very achievable. So what you're doing is you're just isolating a certain number of clothes and that is all you wear for the month. And then the season might change or you decide, you know what? I really wanted pink to be my main color this month. So I brought a lot of pinks in and now I'm going to take the pinks out and I'm going to switch it up to mostly uh, greens for the next month and mix and match those colors in so that I just am pulling from a small amount of clothes and it's not to limit or punish you by doing this. What it's supposed to do by keeping a tight number of clothes is to just limit your options so that you don't even have to think about what you're putting together every day. You can just get up, mindlessly get dressed and know you're gonna look good because you've pulled together pieces that work together that are already pre-coordinated. When I was little, there was a company, I can't remember if it was JCPenney or Sears that had a line called Granimals. And if you are familiar with this, put it in the comments below. But what I, I was obsessed completely obsessed with this company. I, I think I was only like six or seven at the time, but each piece of clothing, let's say this was a zebra, you could go and look for all of the zebras and all of the zebra pieces would match together that you could mix and you could wear those pieces together. And they were pretty much creating a capsule wardrobe concept for little kids to help them get dressed so that they would see, okay, I'm just gonna pick the zebra and I'm gonna wear it with this zebra and now I know it goes together. So it's the same concept. You're just putting together clothes ahead of time so that when you go to get dressed every day, you know, okay, this will go with this. I don't have to think about it. I can just grab it and go. Almost like your own little uniform for the month and then you switch it up for the following month. That is five ways to think about capsule wardrobes that you may not have thought of. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video.